about 10 amps, so uh, just be mindful of your, especially if you have to adapt down. That was something we did talk about when we were outside was you're plugged into a 50 amp cord, but they have adapters that'll bring you down. I think I- Oh I yeah, for like on, a 30 or Yeah, something. I think yeah, I saw Brian showing you when I walked up there. Yeah. Um, and they're kind of important because um, you may go to a park that only has 30 amps because that's been around for a long time. 50s yeah. are the newer ones. Um, so you may only get a 30. And yeah. in that case, you want to be able to fit that 30 plug. Yep. Yep. Um, we, so we, you're going to need one of those. And then you're definitely going to want the 30 to a 15 amp, which is, that's a regular plug. I'm going to look for I'm looking for one of these. <laughs> it's a regular plug. That's a 15 oh, amp plug. Okay. Yeah. And so in that, that, you can adapt to that. Of course, you only got 15 amps, which yeah. is one hair dryer, not an air conditioner. So, right. um, 50 amp, two air conditioners, 31, uh, 15 amp, no. Okay. You might might be able to get it start. I have actually been able to get some air conditioners start on it because it's 25 to start. But if it's the breaker survives that, you might get to run, but then you're pulling 15 amps on a 15 amp outlet with a 15 amp cord. Yeah. Yeah. Something's getting hot. Yeah. 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 Over time. It's not maybe not right away, but in an hour. Yeah. Because yeah. we yeah. talked about the 50 to 30, because the lake we go to. There's some 50 amps, but mm -hmm. those kind of tend to fill up pretty quick. So every yep. once in a while, you'll be stuck with a 30 amp. Exactly, exactly. And then, and then the 15s for when you go to a friend's house, because you know they don't have either one. Right. But, but you need to charge batteries, so you could pl at least plug in, keep the coach running. You can't run the air conditioner. But, I mean, uh, but you got a generator okay. for that if you really need the yeah. air conditioner too. Yeah. But if you don't, then it's cheaper just to plug in their house and keep the batteries charged. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a good idea. So you'll definitely need it for that. Um, and that will run the washer and dryer so you can show the friends too. Uh, just, just 15 amp, yeah. As long as you're not running everything else. You gotta be kind of mindful of if you plug into 15 that you can't use like the electric water heater because that's yeah. seven amps. Yeah. Uh, this would be drawn in amps so that's not a deal. But so if she wants to show off, so watch this, I can run all the time. You, and then we kill the power, yeah. Start, yeah. start that gym. Yeah. <laughs> All right, right on. Okay, uh, that is not a glass cooktop. Like they say it somewhere, but just take that baby. Okay. Just like that. They wow. sparks all three of them. So if you want another, and of course oh, that's nice. nine thousand five and five. I can really start making it hot in here pretty quick. You, sure. you feel oh wow, me yeah. Up there pretty quick. Yeah. It's, okay. It adds up. So. What about the oven? Oven. Not that we'll use it a lot. Right. But is it um, oven on these? You'll have to. You go to pilot. It's kind of like light nail water heaters. So oh, okay. You go to pilot. Gas is coming out now, so now right. I go down there, light the pot, let it get hot for uh, 10 seconds. Once it's hot, you let go and stay lit. And then right. at that point, on you go. Um, people don't use them a lot anymore. They're actually yeah. they're actually going away. Wow. Uh, oh yeah. Burgers, actually, so they're good. actually, because everything's going so electronic now, they're yeah. going away with gas completely. Mm -hmm. in and induction top burgers. types, yep. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, yeah. but the, it's the space, because you got this much space, that wide, that deep, all yeah. that, and it's lost to where people tell you, oh, I can store one loaf of bread in there, a couple yeah. loaves, Use or for store a couple of pans. I was just gonna say, store the pots and pans. Yeah, in pots there. and pans, but you only get two or three pans in there where you can get a whole bunch of underneath it. <laughs> if that's a one giant big old drawer, but now you've got something underneath here, and that's this guy right here. Is, that there. What is that? That's the access for the water, all the electric. Water goes through oh, okay. the bottom of the slide. So that's just an access. Yeah, it's just an access. Oh, I, didn't tell you. I didn't know that was good. Just had to look down, it popped out like that. So, okay. Yeah, I want to see it now. Now we're going to tighten that up. But yeah, okay. you'll see certain panels like that with a screw on there. Feel free to go in there if you want, but it's probably access, kind of like there'll be one. These will come off so you can get back to the water heater, things like oh, that. Oh, okay. And that's where your bypasses are. Uh, this is a three valve system. The way that works is you've got an in and an out. A valve on each the in and the out and then there's a tube in the middle that's got a valve on it when you open that up that allows it to bypass the water heater oh you okay. close the inlets outlets open the bypass and now water will skip the uh, water heater and you can winterize okay that way you're not putting six gallons and I've seen people do it six gallons antifreeze into the water heater before it'll start coming out to the sink yeah you got to fill that up first and have forbid it got to drain it it take 20 gallons to flush it through Ooh. you know flush the water out so yes uh to avoid that you just bypass it that way and then when you do that antifreeze will come instantly to the faucets uh, okay 
instead of four. Yeah, and, and a unit you know, like this, I could probably do it. I'd say three gallons, but washer has a tendency to draw quite a bit of a gallon or so. Try to fill it up, drain, fill it up, and drain. I do a couple to make sure I got the pump, everything. Okay. Uh, P traps, you want your P traps done. Like shower, you may, I can run the shower over the toilet and run the antifreeze out both sides, but I didn't get the P trap and the drain so it could be full of water and freeze. Same with the sink. You've uh, got one P trap right here. Yep. You always want not both. Awesome. You don't have to do both because they tie together, but you want to get that one P trap. Yep. That thing or that'll be your next link. Uh, most forgotten one though is the outside shower. Oh wow. Number one uh, number one replaced frozen up item. Oh yeah, wow. I believe okay. that. Uh, second will be valves, water valves on the back of refrigerators, because they're usually this one's not, but most of them are against the outside wall. And mm. some of them have a door back there to access the back from the outside. Cold gets in, freezes everything up. Yep. But this one, you got a, your dumb waiter's actually right behind that. Yeah. So, yeah. Got a little insulating barrier there on that. Okay. Uh, soap dispenser, a little screw in bottle on the underneath if you okay. want to use that. Um, and then, of course, hot cold water. Sweet. The regular, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you. Water heater there. Uh, what am I thinking of? Hide a bit. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. We pulled it so out. We folded it. So the cushion that goes here when this drops down is under there. Uh huh. How you get it out? I, know, I didn't. Because this, yeah, this like pulls. I can't remember. We did it with it, Ryan. This end pulled this up. This pulled up. Yes. Look. Yep. This is oh, in it. Rules. And then it goes flat, but how oh, do you get... Oh, there's the ladder to the Yeah, bump. there's the ladder. That was the other question. Oh, okay. You Good. just take the ladder out, and then you just pull that. Yeah, um, I see what they've done. They just stuffed it underneath here. Yeah. So the ladder comes yeah. out. Because you got a little bit of storage on here once this folds up. Yeah, they so just, just They just, pulls out they just like had that. a place to stuff it down. So there. how do you yeah. get this down? You basically, those are taper poles. You just pull it up off the poles. And oh, then drop it down to the... And then just drop it down to the... Take those okay. poles out. Yeah, that, that is... That one was. Okay, because it sets on these edges. Yes, yeah. Okay. And it's a, it's a two-person operation. Perfect, yeah. okay. That is one heavy... I'm, I picked up... This I'm, is probably heavy. I used to move furniture, so I'm not... We guy, and I'll tell you what, I picked that thing up. I'm like, nobody's going to want to... Because if I try to do it by myself, I'm going to tear stuff up because I'm not strong mm -hmm. enough to hold that table in all the positions. So that's a two-person process. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, we, yeah, we wondered cool. about the ladder. Um, they're, That's just like, they're just like this, though, just to yeah, show the operation. Like that oh, okay. It's just yeah. a tapered pole. Gotcha. That's yep. all it is. Okay. And literally, all I did when I put them in, I just set that there. I kind of stick this out of the paper oh, yeah. spot. Just give it a little yep. in there, and it, sometimes you can wiggle them in and make them tighter, but okay. there's a little bit of sol sol solidity. Cool. But yeah, that's actually a good place. Some people have tried to put those ladders up here but this one's pretty tight mm -hmm. so yeah. i think you'd be into the roof better yeah. Have yeah. yeah this isn't a bad spot at all but there's some story storage for linens or whatever yeah you put a little bit like, under you know? here yeah yeah not, not too much blankets, but, yep. but yeah stuff you might need if somebody wants to sleep there well and and then you could use this for linens too yeah, yeah. yeah. then it just lays like that and it's long enough it's not super wide but it's yeah. long enough it's better than those ones with the double folds. Yeah. Uh, the newlyweds my, can my sleep My uncle, bless here. his heart, always, family reunions always give me the sofa 